Alright, Miss Bautista. Mrs. Wyckoff. Alright, Mrs. Wyckoff, are you ready to go? Yeah, I was good. What do you think? What do you think about everything? It's interesting. on roll. What's up everybody? I hate to cut in, but I must during this part. Um, there's a lot of music as you can imagine in Nashville. And let me tell you just to say it's a lot of fun tremendous amount of fun you have to go see it and here this this is really one of the first I think it was the first bar we stopped in we had a couple drinks and I walked in the back just to get a look at the place and we had such a such a wonderful time kind of like hated it to end it was just so many places and so much music as, um, I put a little bit of the sound in, but there's so much music coming out of all the um, bars. Like every building, like you see in the picture, they're all bars and clubs. And there's bands on every floor, multiple bands. So walking out on the street, it is pretty incredibly loud at times, but everybody's having a good time. As you can see, everybody was very friendly. Nashville is such a wonderful place and it was truly a very hot day. So I'll just come in and out and just tell you what we were doing. Well here of course, we're walking down Broadway, I think it's the name of the street. Just really, we were just briefly popping into all the venues, well not all the venues, as many as we could. My wife was very excited because she's a She's a bit. She she's a bit of a history buff. And she, she knows a lot of people there. It was just a wonderful day. I think we walked around the city for literally about eight hours. So we turned in early. So we were exhausted, but we had a good time. Oh, you're already sampling things. What is that? What is it? <laughs> See, that's what I like is Carlene. Fuck on candy. I might get me. I might get me some of that. 
That's what I want to eat in Louisiana. We make that. get like two or three of them or four of them. Wait, get... I will have to ask for the two. I'm sure it is the same they're making. Get like four get like four of these. So after spending about, I don't know, 50 or $60 plus in the candy store back there, which was, oh, it was worth it. The candy was excellent. And they were making it right there for you. And you could try it in samples. So it was a little pricey, but you can't walk past a place like that. So that was nice. And of course, we kept on going checking out more and more of the sites and it was amazing because these buildings looked like they were maybe office buildings at one time but all the walls and everything taken out they were just like five six floors just bars all the way up to the top of the roof on, on the roof deck everybody was partying up there too so uh, we just kept going down the road more and more I wish we would have had more time 
but we only had that day to spend in Nashville, of course. We didn't get to see everything. That was just, time didn't allow for that. But we did the most we could. And like I told my wife, we're, oh, excuse me, we're not going to get to see everything. We need about three days there. And we were doing this, we were trying to hit as many states as we could doing this trip. And so, and we had to be in Kentucky the very next day because we were having a barbecue with friends. So we enjoyed the rest of the day, taking lots of pictures and video of the sights and sounds of Nashville. And one thing I really have to say, this was like a, a dream come true for my wife because this was her very first time being in the U.S. and and um, she was really, really excited and a bit overwhelmed at times. Not even more overwhelmed later on, but she had a wonderful time. I did everything I could do to just make it <clears throat> that first trip very special and memorable. And this part coming up was uh, the Glen Campbell Museum. Well, we did oh, she Glenn was really Campbell broken hearted. Museum. This is a place she Too really wanted to see, see a lot, so, but we arrived. Too late. That is over. Like I can tell you, we we stopped everywhere along the way that she wanted to stop, so she could just see how things are. You know, comparing them to different places. Like we're both, you know, we're stationed in Germany right now. So comparing to how, when you take a road trip in Germany, what you see versus the versus the U.S. and uh, and just the difference. And at, um, as we turned around this corner, this was really the end of all the bars going down this street. So it was pretty quiet. It was about the end of our sightseeing tour. And our <laughs> biggest challenge was we were trying to figure out where we were compared to where we parked the car. So we kind of just um, took our time. Oh, and we were hungry walking. That that walk back, yeah, hunger kicked kicked in because lunch was many hours ago. So we did stop at a subway, 
grabbed a couple sandwiches and took back to the hotel with us. But this was really the end of the party life and right down here. Everything just kind of quiet down. It, it was still a lot of music going on, but as you see here, this street here, not that many people. All the other people are down on the main street on Broadway back there, uh, partying away. So I had to dub out a lot of the sound so I don't get any YouTube strikes because the streets were full of music. So it was a very festive place. And you can see here, it's like nobody's here. So then we just got to end up where we were. And that's about time for me to end it and say, Thank you all very much for coming on this journey with us. We really appreciate it and hope you enjoyed it. And if you're ever around Nashville, stop in. Thank you much.